Hey family, my name is Charles Nicholson and I'm part of the media ministry at Sweetwater Church of Christ. And today I have the honor and the privilege to bring to you our Sweetwater Church of Christ app. That's right, we have finally got an app. It is finally live on Apple and Google and Roku and Amazon. And today I want to go over how to download it or how to search for it, how to download it and actually utilize it to make sure that you're getting the fullest potential out of our app. So if you want, if you have some time, sit back and we're gonna go over the app on how to search it, how to download it, and all those different things. Now I will be actually um, using my Apple phone um, to actually utilize this. Everything applies the same thing on the Google Store and the Amazon Store, as well as Roku. All you have to do is find your app store. So on um, Apple, the app store is actually called the App Store or iTunes, where you download your apps. On Android, you're looking for a Google Play Store. I'll list all the icons on the screen. So on Apple, you're looking for the App Store. On Google, you're looking for the Google or the Google Play Store to actually search and download this app. Uh, once you do find those particular icons on your phone, you're gonna go into the search um, bar to actually locate it. So let me take you into my phone so that we can walk you through on how to search for the Sweetwater Church of Christ app. So like I said, I am on the Apple phone. You will locate your Google Play Store phone on your Android phone, but I will be demonstrating on my iPhone. So if you do have an iPhone or an Apple phone, you can follow along right with me. The Google Play Stores or the Androids, you can follow along with me after you actually download and search it for in your app store. So um, our app store is right here. So you're gonna click on the app store it's going to bring up this part right here where you're able to search. You're just going to click on the search menu bar down here at the bottom. It's going to bring up a search bar here at the top on the Apple phone. Same thing applies on the Google Play Store. You will just find the search bar, search, be able to put in any information here in your search bar. And right here, you're going to type in Sweetwater Church of Christ. So we're going to type in Sweetwater Church of Christ. You will need to type in the whole thing because there is an app called Sweetwater on here that is not us. So you would type in Sweetwater Church of Christ. Uh, once you have that in there, you're just going to simply search. Search for that particular item. And like I said, you will bring up Sweetwater Church of Christ's app right here. Um, now I have already downloaded the app. It will say open for me because I've already downloaded for you. If you have not downloaded, it will say get. You would clip, simply click on get and that will um, start the downloading process. Once it, once it has finished downloading, it will go on your phone. Okay, so once you finish downloading, it will go on your phone and then at that point, you would just locate it on your phone to actually click on it to open it. Now, once you do, do um, come to the app store, if you already have downloaded the app or if you have not downloaded the app, what I want to encourage you to do is to scroll down to here to the bottom and actually rate and review the app. So we have four or five stars here that you can actually give this particular app. I'm asking everybody to come out there, put five stars and say something nice about Sweetwater if you can or something nice about the app that you may like. We would love to all the feedback, so make sure that you do that once you do download the app or if you already have downloaded the app please go back and do that now all right but once you have the app an app is on your phone you're able to actually locate it by simply it will be on your on your desktop or on your not on your desktop on your phone you would just simply look at the icon the icon will look something like this it will say sweetwater coc or swcoc once you have searched it and downloaded it to your phone once you see that icon, you're able to click on that particular icon. It will bring you to the home page of the app. Now you're on our Sweetwater Church of Christ app. The first thing you want to do, you notice all the different tabs and the things at the bottom, but the first thing I want to encourage you to do is to click these three lines here at the top left. What the three lines at the top left is gonna do is open or make you build a portfolio or a profile to make sure that it um, saves all your data, all the things that you do on the app in this particular app. 
uh, on, in your particular um, profile. So what you're going to do is click on the three lines. I'm already signed in. I'll go ahead and sign out so that we can go through the process together. So once you get here, you click on the three, three lines at the top. It's going to say log in or sign up. You're going to click on sign up. It's going to bring you here and give you three different options to choose from. Let's get started. You can continue with Apple, continue with your Facebook, or continue with email. I personally chose to do email. Um, you can pick whatever, whichever one is best for you. And it's going to simply say log in or sign up. So what you're going to do is sign up. You're going to put your first and last name in your email address and create a password and create an account. What this account is going to do, we're going to show you just a little bit later what that account is going to do for your profile. Like I said, I've already done mine. So I'll just go ahead and log in on my profile right now. I am Charles the Great. Everyone knows that, um, but that's neither here or there. But uh, I will log in with my email address and my password and we would just simply log on to the app it's going to bring you to this page here now um, it's going to display your name whatever name that you put in it will display that and the information that you have put in click on the three lines one more time and it's going to bring you to this page here the page that we were at beginning and it's going to list Sweetwater COC or SWCOC that will take you to the app. You also have a share icon to the left or the right of that. So you can actually share that with your contacts. You can share that on Facebook. If you want somebody else to learn how to download the app, they can simply go there. You can share that, um, that particular app with them there. You have a search bar. You have a downloads bar. You have a, a inbox. You have a givings. You have a notes and you have settings. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go into the search. Search is um, self-explanatory. Uh, you would just search for anything that you want on the app, anything media-wise, uh, speakers, any titles, anything that you just want to go straight to. Hey, I know he preached that last, preached that last sermon last night uh, or yesterday, and it was God favors me. You can simply type that in. It will take you to everything that says God favors me um, in this app. So if you want to just do that quickly, you're able to do that from the search bar. Any songs, any podcasts, anything that you have that we have on the app, it will bring up that once you do put that in the search bar. So that it is a little quicker to get to where you want to get um, if you don't want to go through the whole app or if you can't find it in the app uh, once you're searching. Okay. Um, the next tab is the downloads tab. Uh, our app allows you to download a lot of content. You can download songs, pictures, um, videos, anything that um, has a download button. You can actually download that from the app and actually put that on your phone. So all the download that you have done on the app, it is going to save it here. So you have a download folder and all that content will go into that. So I just want to make you aware of that. So you can download it. It will go here. It will go on your phone. So you can actually share that on social media, share that with one of your contacts or anything of that nature. Um, you will see all that listed here. Um, the next box is the inbox box. Um, this is where all our notifications are going to go to. So if we send out any notifications from Sweetwater, um, live stream is starting, um, church is canceled, um, church is meeting just at 9 o'clock, or we moved it up an hour, or meetings or anything, that will show up here in your inbox. So you're able to actually see all the different notifications that have been sent out to you. Um, the giving... Um, the giving is obviously um, just giving anything that you want to donate to the church uh, as far as collection or uh, your, uh, your lay-by. You're able to give here in that tab. We have another giving tab. We'll get more into giving uh, once we get there, but you are able to do the giving from here as well. Um, the next one is notes. We have a notes tab. A notes tab is very important. You're able to take notes on the phone, so you're able to see all the different notes um, that you have taken on the phone, whether it's sermons, things of that nature, you're able to see all that here. And the notes are very easy. They stay here in the phone. Uh, you can bold, you can underline, you can italic, all the different things here um, with the different notes. Um, and they will be saved in your phone if you want to go back and study them later or share them with the friend later. Uh, we'll get more into that uh, later on in the app. Um, but the most important thing I want to encourage or stress 
um, in this profile is the settings tab. The settings tab, you want to go in here and actually go to notifications. They have about, they have help, and they have locations. You can turn on your location um, to uh, whatever you would like it to be. Um, if you want it to be always, um, every time you open the app, however you want that to be set up, you can do that on the app. But the main thing I want you to um, be aware of is the notifications um, tab here. Once you click on that, the notification tab is a tab for when we send out notifications. Um, uh, we will send out a generic notification of, hey, we're going live in 10 minutes or we are live now. You can watch us here uh, where you can click on that particular notification and it will take you to our live stream. That will go out in a general message. So you will get general messages about when we go live or when we are live at Sweetwater Church of Christ. Um, so if you want those type of notifications, you will just click on the general um, form or the general general tab there. Turn that on or turn that off, um, and you will get those type of notifications. If you are a Sweetwater member, if you do actually go to Sweetwater, or if you're in the area of the Sweetwater uh, Jacksonville community, you may want to click on Sweetwater members. So that's going to be more uh, more specific to everyone that is at Sweetwater. So if we're saying that church is canceled or if we have a meeting um, um, for everyone that's at church or if we have the food bank or anything that's going on at Sweetwater just for their members, those notifications will be sent to just the Sweetwater members. So if you wanna stay informed of what's going on, up to date of what's going on, you may want to turn that tab on so that you can get those notifications to your phone. We will not be sending notifications every day, every week, um, every hour. Those will just be uh, uh, specific notifications or important notifications that we would need or you would need to know. Um, instead of sending text messages, you will get that notification quick to your phone. You're able to open it, view it, and know what's going on at the Sweetwater Church of Christ. So if you are a Sweetwater member, I suggest that you turn that on so that you can get those notifications. Another great feature is we do have listed all the different ministries that we have here at Sweetwater Church of Christ. I may need to add a little bit more, but right now we have the different ministries that we have here. So if you are in a ministry, another great way to stay informed about what's going on with your ministry is to turn that ministry tab on as well. So if you are in the media ministry, you may want to send that out. If we have a quick meeting or anything that's going on, I need to meet at the church to set up for these things. Those notifications will go out to you in that media ministry only. So we won't be sending media ministry to everyone that has the app. We'll just be sending those to the media ministry um, that is involved, that are want that wants those type of notifications. So I wanna stress that if you have the app or if you have not purchased or not have purchased that, if you have the app or if you have not downloaded the app yet, the best thing to do is once you open the app the next time, is to sign up for one of these different notifications so that you can stay informed. If you don't want notifications to your phone, you can simply turn that off, but I do want to make you aware that notifications will be starting to get sent out eventually. If you want those notifications to stay up on what's going on at Sweetwater Church of Christ, I, I urge you to come in here. Like I said, you can come here to your profile. You would click the three bars at the top and you will go down to the settings and then you would click on notifications and you can turn on whatever notifications you would like being sent to your phone. Like I said, we will not be sending notifications every week, every day, every hour. We will be sending those notifications when we are aware of what's going on with that particular, with that particular group, ministry, or uh, general tab. So before we get into it, just, just wanted to get that overview before we actually get into the actual app to make sure that you are aware of that, to make sure that you don't miss out on what you can actually do or what you can actually get from this app to make sure that you stay up to date on what's going on here at the water. All right, so let's get back into the actual app. You would just simply click the SWCOC um, button and that will take you into the app. Okay, so once you get to the app, we like I said, you have six or seven different tabs here. On, on the main screen, we have a Welcome to Sweetwater, we have a Sermons, This Week at the Water, Resources, Connect, and About Us. You also have five different tabs at the bottom. You have a Home, a Give, a Live, Bible, and Events. They will stay at the bottom no matter what tab that you go into. So you're able to always come back to the home page if you need to come back to that by simply clicking the Home button. 
But the first tab that we're going to go into is the Welcome to Sweetwater Church. Here you're able to see what Sweetwater is. We give a little bio here at the bottom here so you can read over that when you have your leisure time. Um, but like I said, with the first button on here, uh, you can see that there is a video that can be played. So you're able to see Sweetwater live there, not Sweetwater live stream there, but you're able to see a video of what Sweetwater is like by simply pressing play. And you have the option to download that video. If you like that video a lot and you want to actually have that on your phone, you can actually press the download button. It will begin to download, put it in that folder and put it on your phone as well. So you're able to keep the video. You can post it on your own social media site or you can send that to a friend uh, or family member or coworker as well. You can take notes about the video or take notes about Sweetwater. If you were forever, whatever reason you need to take notes on this particular page, you can actually tap take a note on that page. We'll go into taking notes a little bit later um, in another tab um, to, so we can actually go over those type of things. You can actually give from this app um, or give from this particular section or tab as well. And you can actually share this particular on uh, this page to a friend or coworker or family member or what as well. You can simply click the share button. Your contacts will come up. You can select whoever you would like to send it to and you can send them that, um, that page and they're able to view it just like you once they download the app. Um, we also have a plan, a visit, and meet our leadership. So we will click on both of those icon or both of those um, tabs so that you can see where that takes that. That actually takes you to our online or website. So once you click on plan and visit, if you are new, you can click, simply click on that. It will bring you to the I'm new on our website and you're able to see exactly what Sweetwater is. We welcome you, tell you when we meet, what to expect, we give you another video, um, the options to follow us on social media, and actually plan a visit. Now the plan a visit is if you are new, if you are expecting to arrive with us or come to Sweetwater um, next Sunday, we would love to know that. Um, that is simply just put that your name, first and last name, a message tell us that you're coming so that we're prepared to meet you at the door with hugs and kisses uh, to make sure that you are well, feel welcome um, here at the Sweetwater Church of Christ. Um, that is also for any event. Um, any um, volunteer thing that you want to do. If you just want to let us know that you're coming, you can plan a visit, tell us how many people are coming, and we would love to know that and have you here at Sweetwater Church of Christ. Okay, um, the next thing, the next thing we want to do is actually um, go to um, the Meet Our Leadership. So once we go to Meet Our Leadership, you're able to actually see all our wonderful leadership staff here. Um, they are listed here. Um, we have our ministers, our uh, senior minister. We have our elders and our deacons on this tab here as well. Um, the good thing about that or the cool thing about that is they also have their social media page there. So if you'd like to follow them on social media, you can see that icon there. If they do have it and you are able to click on that and follow them on social media as well. Okay. And that is our leadership tab. Um, and like I said, you can read over this Azure Leisure and to see more about Sweetwater, what Sweetwater is actually about. Um, we'll go on to the next tab. Our next tab, once we click the back button, or maybe I should have clicked the home button so you can see that. But our next tab is our sermons tab. So obviously our sermons tab is going to house all the different sermons that we have uploaded for Sweetwater Church of Christ. Um, they should be in chronological order, so they should be um, the last last sermon, the latest sermon that we should have, or the latest sermon that was preached should be at the top, and everything else will follow. Um, and you're able to actually click on any one of these um, icons or any one of these pictures, and you're able to actually see that sermon um, that was preached at Sweetwater Church of Christ. So if you want to hear in due season, you will just click on that, it will bring you to this particular page right here and you will just click on that sermon title once again and it will bring you here and you have the option to watch here as well as take notes you can give and you can share this with a friend so if you want to share this particular sermon with a friend co-worker or family member again you have the option to click on the share button and share that with your contacts you can give any donations here as well as well as take notes so if you're watching the sermon and you have uh, a scripture that you want to jot down notes that you want to take you can put that here you already have the title here at the top in due season you would just put whatever you would like as the title and you would type all your notes here and once you hit done 
that will save in your notes folder that we talked about with the three bars at the beginning of the video. So all your notes will be saved there. You can actually save, you can send this to another, um, uh, you can share that just like uh, we do uh, with anything else. So you would just click on the three buttons here at the top. Once you finish your notes, you can send that to a person um, in your contacts um, that you would like to share that with, to share the Bible with. Um, an easier way to get the word out by just simply taking notes and sharing that with someone else. They're able to see your notes, watch the video as well, and go over the notes and study with those as well. So that's a great cool tab that I like a lot um, that this app does offer. Um, the next thing we have here is This Week at the Water. So this tab is um, the events tab, basically. Um, it's going to tell you everything that's not, uh, not necessarily going on this week, but everything that is coming up here at Sweetwater Church of Christ. So we have our Park and Praise. We have VBS. We have our New Year's Eve program. All these things are coming up. Um, so we would want you to actually click on those icons. It will tell you what actually is going on. It gives you a little more in-depth of what actually this event is. And you actually have the you have the ability to to take notes for these events. You can uh, put that take that note and say, hey, I want to go to that or whatever note that you want to put a reminder, or whatever you want. You can put that and take notes, and that will be saved in your notes folder. You have the option to give as well again, and you can actually share this once again with your friends, family, um, and coworkers or whoever you like to share with that with with your contacts. So if you have an event coming up and you just want to simply share this. With someone, you can click the share button and say, hey, this parking praise is coming up. You can actually sign up and tell us that you're coming. That is going to take you to an email to actually send and tell us, hey, I'm coming. I'm bringing so many people with me so we can be ready to accommodate you when you come to our church or come to Sweetwater to make sure that you are greeted with the love and um, caring faces that we always give to everyone. Um, so that is another great uh, option, an easy way to get the word out, to invite somebody. You don't have to call. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is click the share button, invite them to church, and you're done. Simple and easy. But all the different events will be listed here. Obviously, we don't have a lot going on right now. But once we are, or once we have confirmed any type of event, we will put them into the app, and they will be displayed here. Uh, once they are added to the calendar and they are confirmed, you will see them located here and you're able to see more information, sign up for those different events and um, get reminders for those events as well. Um, the resources tab will be next right under this week at the water. One of my favorite tabs uh, coming from the media ministry because this has a lot of stuff in it. Um, the resources tab. So once you click on the resources tab, um, here at the media ministry, uh, we always take pictures, videos, and things of that nature. They're always housed on a, a storage drive that you may not know. But now we have the ability to actually put all the things that I've stored on a storage drive and actually put it into the app. So all the pictures, all the videos, all the promo videos, everything that I've taken, everything that has been taken at Sweetwater Church of Christ from now, to last year, I believe all the way to 2018, you can see now in the app. So you can click on graphics and media. What that is gonna take you to is a media brochure. You will just click on this link. It will take you off the app to this particular website that houses all our media uh, pictures and videos. As you can see here, all sweet order in 2019, all the things that's going on this year, all the promo pictures, promo videos, cell phone wallpaper, uh, Sweetheart Nights in 2020, baptisms, all the different things that have happened at Sweetwater this year as well as last year. You're able to see that here and download that to your phone. So if you want a, a, a picture that you saw of yourself, you like, that you want to post on social media, uh, you're able to download that here and post that on your social media, on your phone, share with a friend or family, uh, anything like that nature. See, we have Park and Praise that took place on the 24th of June. You can easily click on that. You can see all the different um, icons or all the different pictures that was taken that day. And you can actually um, click on one of those pictures and download it to your phone. And you can have that with you always and forever um, and share that and post it, whatever you would like to do with that. You can either download, you can all the, uh, you can as well download the whole, um, whole folder if you like. You can share the whole folder if you like. All that can be done from this particular app. 
um, and you can just simply go through all the different videos and pictures and everything that I've uploaded you're able to have access to on your phone which I think is a very cool aspect so when I take pictures I will start uploading these the day after I take the pictures so you have access uh, so you have access to those um, immediately um, but that is a great tool that I like here from the media ministry so I don't have to have all of it to myself I can actually share it with you you can actually take those and share it with others so we can actually invite and encourage more uh, to come out to Sweetwater Church of Christ um, so that is the media that is the graphics and media tab um, if we do click back one we also have under that is a podcast this is our young adults podcast we are called the Godcast so you are able to actually click on the Godcast and actually see the different um, episodes that we have uploaded to the app so far we have six different episodes so you are able to go through and listen to those at any time all the time you can actually download those particular ones to your phone as well um, but this is a nice tool so you can actually hear any type of podcast that we got um, that any type of podcast that we do have going on at Speedwater, they will be di displayed here we also have a music tab, which is also great. Uh, we have worship songs, so this is raw, straight from the congregation. So you hear all the different singing. You hear Richard, um, Simeon, Samaj, uh, everyone. You hear the bass, everything that we have recorded at the uh, Sweetwater Church of Christ congregation. You will hear that raw if you do click on worship songs. And we have listed all the different songs that we have sung at Sweetwater. Obviously, we have plenty, many more songs that um, than just 37 that we have listed right now. I am currently trying to get as many songs as we possibly can in there. Uh, it's very difficult to get all the different songs in there. So uh, once the new song, once a new song does pop up, I will upload that. Whoever sings it, we will put that in the app and it will let you know who actually sings it. You can actually download any of these songs to your phone as well. You can go back and listen to them as many times as you want to. Um, so that is also a cool feature uh, and it has the Sweetwater um, Voices of Harmony, Jesus is Coming Soon. So if you would like to have the album, if you've never bought the album or if you don't know where the album at, don't use CDs no more, you can actually listen to the t entire album um, on your phone. The cool thing about it is once you click on it, you don't have to leave your phone on. You can actually turn, um, click off or shut off the phone or and it will still continue to play. You have to actually stop it for it actually to stop. So once you click on it, you will just simply just, uh, we could just go to Jesus is uh, Coming Soon, my favorite song, and it will bring up um, that particular song, and you can just hear that right there. And like I said, once you get off of it, it will continue to play. If you wanna find another song while it's playing, you can see that as well, but you would have to come up here and actually turn it off. You see the jumping lines, if you wanna go back to it, and you would just click pause, and you'll be able to pause that there and go back. But that is another cool feature that you can actually download those particular songs onto your phones. You can go back and listen to those songs whenever you're feeling down up um, on Sunday morning. You want to play Sweetwater songs to get you in the mood to come to church. Uh, you have the option to do that as well. Um, and you have message notes. Like I was telling you earlier, um, you can take notes on your phone. A lot of people take notes while the sermon is going on to study later. Well, you have the ability to do that now. Every Sunday morning, we will go ahead and display a picture or a tab for that particular Sunday. So now instead of writing it in the notes or uh, on paper or whatever, you are able to download it or save it to your phone. So you would just go into that particular sermon notes or that sermon that is going to be preached that Sunday while they're preaching. And you have the ability to actually come in here and take notes. So um, any scriptures, any, uh, any uh, notes that you want to place, you can actually put it here um, and you can type it in here. You can bold it, underline it, cross it out, whatever you would like, the same as your notes. And once again, those notes will be saved in your notes folder at the beginning of the uh, video where that profile was. So you can always go back, study that, always have that as long as you have your phone. You can share that with a friend, a coworker, or a colleague so that they are able to watch it, are able to view your notes as well, and listen to the video uh, once the video is uploaded 
after the after that Sunday as well. So that's another great feature that I like because you can always save your notes. You may not know where your notes are. They might um, be a little scribbled and you might not be able to read it. But this way you can actually um, take notes on your phone if you would like. And um, you can always have that saved right there on your phone always um, as long as you want. Um, but that is a great way. You can also come in here and watch the video as well. Uh, once the video is uploaded after that Sunday morning worship. But you have all the ability to go back and watch these videos um, in the message notes. So you can go back and watch all the different sermons that we have here. And you can go back and take notes on those sermons as well um, once you do watch the video or while you're watching the video as well. All these links will link you to our YouTube page. So once you do click on the video to watch the sermon, it will take you to our YouTube page to watch the video. So just keep that in mind. It will take you off the app to take you to our YouTube page to actually watch the video. And I do encourage you once it does take you off the app to watch our YouTube video is to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well so that you're updated on what's actually been uploaded at that time or when it's actually uploaded, uploaded, you'll be the first one to know. All right, but that is our resources tab, a lot of media stuff. I love the resources tab because it's a lot to do with the media, what we do here. So it's a lot of stuff that needs to still be added to that particular uh, tab and we are updating the app daily, uh, constantly every week we're updating the app. So putting more and more content in it to, so that you can enjoy it even more. Um, next tab is our connect tab. So if you are a member of Sweetwater Church of Christ, if you're not, if you're new and you want to know how to get involved, how to actually connect with Sweetwater and get more involved here, you can do it right here into the app with our connect tab. So the first app, first uh, icon we have or the first tab we have is prayer request. So you are able to submit a prayer request whenever you would like. It is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So whenever you add, need prayer, you're able to submit this prayer. What you're gonna do is click on prayer request. It's gonna bring you to ask for prayer. You will just click on the prayer request one more time and you're actually gonna bring you to the prayer request form. And you're able to fill out the information, click send, it will get sent to leadership and it will be read for whatever day that you want it to be read on. Very simple, very fast, um, very convenient for whenever you, wherever you are, whenever, whenever you want to send it, you can send that in. It will go to our bank where leadership can read it on that particular day and um, have you um, have you ha have your prayer being answered um, when we do read it. You have the option to obviously uh, have it read on Sunday or Wednesday, or you can simply click pray for me privately. Uh, and you can also have leadership follow up with you. If you would like someone to follow up with you, you do have the options and say, yes, I want someone to follow up or no, I do not. If you do ask us to follow up with you, we are asking that you put your email address or phone number so that we can follow up with you um, that way. Um, you do have the option to put your first name or last name. You do not have to put any names. Um, if you're not comfortable with putting your name there, you do have to put in the prayer request or what you want to actually uh, want us to pray for, but you do not have to put your first and last name if you do not want to. So once again, this is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you can send us prayer requests anytime you want, which is also an awesome way um, to stay connected here at Sweetwater Church of Christ. Um, the next tab is find a ministry or group. So in this particular um, uh, tab, you're able to sign up for different ministries and different groups that we have at Sweetwater Church of Christ. So here you are brought to all the different ministries. Once you click on the ministry, all the ministries that we have here at Sweetwater Church of Christ, it is going to take you off the app to our website. On our website, you're going to see all the different ministries that we have. You can click on any, any individual ministry that you would like. Click on the media, sign up for the media show. We need help. We would love to have your help. Uh, click on the media or any, any tab that you're interested in. Once you click on that, you can see more information about who actually runs that ministry. Um, you can actually um, sign up for that ministry in that, uh, in that uh, particular uh, ministry's folder or group. Uh, and you can send them an email. And the cool thing about it is when you send the email, it is going to go to that ministry lead. So they are able to see that. They're able to respond, put you in the group text or whatever they have going on with that particular ministry so that you're up to date of what's going on, what's coming up next and things of that nature um, by just signing up. 
Um, we have our groups, we have our Facebook online, so you can click on that and actually sign up there. We have our young adults group online as well, so you can um, go into that and you can sign up for our young adults if you'd like to be a part of our podcast. We would love to have you on, um, as well as if you just want to sign up for a bunch of different ministries at one time and don't want to actually click on each individual ministry at, at a time, you can sign up your first and last name, email address, and you can click on all the different ministries that you would like to actually sign up for at that time. You will put in the notes and you will let that know and it will get sent to those different ministries so that we can make sure that you can get involved with us here at Sweetwater Church of Christ. So that is a cool way to get connected, sign up for a ministry, get involved, find out what they're doing, find out what they need from you, what, how you can help. That would be a great way to stay involved um, here at Sweetwater Church of Christ. So that's why we call it Get Connected. So if you want to stay connected, get in a group, get active uh, so that you um, are not just coming to church and getting bored. That way you are in a ministry and you are getting active. Uh, like I said, if you want something to do, definitely come to the media ministry. I will put a plug in there. We have plenty of work for you to do. Sign up for a group, get active, stay involved. Um, but like I said, we have ministries, we have groups as well. If you just want to sign up for a group, um, we do have a Facebook group online with a whole bunch of different communities, different members um, that's not from Sweetwater, from outside of the state of Jacksonville or out of the state of um, Florida. Um, so um, a lot of different people, we stay in there encouraging each other every day, um, posting different scriptures and things of that nature. Just keep each other encouraged. If you just want to sign up for a group, you do have that option as well. The groups are listed here. We have a Sweetwater online group as well as Young as a young adult group as well so you can sign up for a different group if you're not comfortable with the ministry at this time you want to just get to know the members so you can sign up for a group get active but you are you do have ways to stay connected in the bible uh stay connected with sweetwater um with these different things um you have a sign up for an event here as well so you can click on this different tab and you can sign up for all the different events um, that we have going on at Sweetwater Church of Christ. It is similar to the what's going on um, this week at the water. So once you click on that, it is going to bring you off the, off the app and it will take you to a, an event sign up. It will tell you the events that we have coming up. Uh, so you are able to get more information about that by clicking on that event and, and, and reading more information about it. And you can sign up here on the event sign up form. So you can tell us what event that you want to sign up for and you can actually click that event um, and sign up and send us an email. We would love to know that you're interested in an event, that you want to partake in the event or you want to help out with the event. We'll give you the details once you do send that email to us and we'll let you know how to actually uh, participate in that event once we get that email from you. Um, but you have an option to connect that way as well if you want to volunteer for an event or sign up for an event to help or actually come to. The next icon or the next tab is the follow us. So we give you all our social media sites here at Sweetwater Church of Christ. We have YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and those different groups. So you do have ability to like us on those different pages or subscribe to our YouTube page. Um, that is where we're on social media. Uh, we do give all the access, all the things that are going on here at the water on our social media, on our social media site. So if you do have any one of these social media um, platforms, you do, we do encourage you to follow us on those things to keep you up to date on what's going on here at the water. Um, the last thing we have on the connect tab is find us. So if you want to know more about us or where we're actually located, you can see the address here as well as when do we meet or when do we go live. You can see that here as well as take you to our website. If you want to go straight to the website, you can find us there as well. All right, so going back to our homepage, once you get back to our homepage, we, um, we went over the resources, we don't have a connect, we went over this week at the water, sermons, and welcome to Sweetwater. Now we're on the about us, the about us tab. Once you click on the about us, that's basically about Sweetwater Church of Christ, everything that we have going on here. We have the vision, who are we, the foundation, the times that we meet here at Sweetwater, and our ministers. Uh, so in, in, in each one, we have a vision. Uh, so you can see the vision here we have at Sweetwater Church of Christ, the mission and the vision. You can take notes, you can share this particular tab with someone 
um, in your contacts. We have the who are we. Um, so this is for more of a new people or if you've never been to Sweetwater Church of Christ or you don't know what Sweetwater Church of Christ is, you can read on this. You can visit us online. That's probably going to take you to the I'm New tab so you can actually see exactly who are we at Sweetwater Church of Christ. Once again, you can take notes, give and share this particular page. Um, the next one is our foundation. Basically, what we believe here, our core beliefs at Sweetwater Church of Christ. You can read over that. Uh, once again, uh, all of that, you can take notes and share this page as well. Um, the next tab is our just our times that we meet here and the times that we go live. Um, as you can see, we meet on Sundays um, as well as Wednesdays. So you can see those times there. Um, and once again, take notes and share those as well. Um, the next tab is ministers. So you can see the different ministers that we have here. We have Trevante Peterson um, and we have our senior minister, Richard Coffey Sr. Uh, so you can follow them on social media sites by just clicking the button follow that will put them on their Facebook page. So you can follow them on Facebook if you would like and you can read their bio here as well if you would like to know more about our ministers. And once again, you can take notes and share that tab as well. Um, so we have went over all the different tabs right here. Um, so now here at the bottom, we did address this at the beginning, but you do have the home, the give, the live, the Bible, and the events tab. So we're going to go in more in detail on each individual, each individual tab real quick. Um, so once again, if you always get lost in the app somewhere, you always have the ability to click the home button. The home button will bring you back to this home page with all the different apps here. Um, the next icon is our give item. And so if you would like to donate to Sweetwater by giving your collection or your lay-by, you can just simply click on the give button. What we encourage you to do once you click on the give button is to set up a profile again. So you would click on the man here or the icon here at the top that looks like a human being. Once you click on that, it is going to bring you to another page um, right here. Uh, so you will bring, you will be brought to another page where you can actually sign in. So what signing in does, it does have you the ability to 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 uh, keep more uh, more of your data of what's going on with your giving. So you're able to see all the different types of giving that you've done over the past week. You're able to see different things. So we'll just go ahead and sign in so you can see those different things. Once you click sign in, it is going to bring you two options to where you can continue with the email or continue with a Facebook. Um, so I chose to personally just continue with the email. So I'll just give you um, me when I sign up. Once so you're going to have a sign up um, and a login. If I've already logged in, but you would just click sign up. You will put your first and last name, your email, and create a password and create an account for that particular giving. And once you do that, once you do that and create a, uh, a, a an account, then you will be able to log in. So like I said, I've already logged in or I've already created an account. So mine just comes up um, simple and plain and you will just simply log in. And what that is going to do is have your profile. So once you click on the face again, now it is registered to you. So now you're able to edit account. You're able to put in your address, things of that nature, all your phone numbers, um, your gift history. So anytime that you have given, um, it can it's going to list every single item that you've given all the different times you have given in this app. So from now to whenever the last time you gave, so you can keep your tax history. If you want to keep that for tax purposes, you're able to see all the different giving that you have done um, through this app. Um, you're able to set up a payment method. So you're able to link a debit card or link a bank account. The big thing about this is if you go ahead and do this profile, you won't have to do it again. You will just have to log in and it'll be simple and plain. So I suggest that you go ahead and do it early. So you don't have to do this every single time. You will just log in, you know, everything will be saved and you'll be able to give a donation quick, fast and easy. So the first time you log on, it may take you a little time to set up your profile, put all this different information in, but once it is saved in there, you're able to just go in, click how much you want to give and you can keep going. Um, but another thing is your recurring gifts. So you can right here, you can actually see all the different recurring gifts that you have. So if you're giving every week, if you say, I want to give a hundred dollars every week, a hundred dollars every two weeks, every two months or whatever you want to do, that will show up here in the recurring gifts. 
So you're able to see everything that you have going over to your givings for, like I say, tax purposes or just um, a general uh, note to yourself of what you have given to Sweetwater Church of Christ through this app. You're able to see all that here once you do set up a profile. It is going to make you set up a profile. One thing that is you can't get by that. So you will have to log in through Facebook or set up an email, one or the other. So um, the best thing to do is go ahead and get that out the way early. Get that saved. So all you have to do is sign in and give whatever you would like. Um, once you get here, once again, once you've logged in and done that, Every Sunday or every Wednesday or whenever you would like to give, all you have to do is come in, put the desired amount that you want to put into the collection, and you can give that one time. You can give that weekly, monthly, every two weeks, or twice a month. The cool thing about that is whenever you put, if you put weekly, you can actually have a date down here, weekly gift of $200. You can actually start that whenever you would like. If you want to get paid on Fridays and you know your next paycheck is September 18th, my birthday by chance um, and you can come in here and actually come in here September 18th and know that I get paid on September 18th so I want you to take that out on September 18th so now I will start giving $200 weekly starting on September 18th so uh, that's a good way that you can um, start your giving and make sure that that stays um, on on point with that and like I said you can always go back to the recurring gifts if you see that um, and you want to change it to increase it or decrease it you can go to your recurring gifts in your profile and stop that uh, from recurring every two weeks or every week and you can change that to whatever you would like but once you put that in you would go to the next and once again if you already linked your bank account or your debit card you won't have to do this step here it will take you straight into it your stuff will already be linked and then it will display under card information or bank information. Um, and once again, it will let you be reminded of that you want to give $200 weekly. Um, the cover processing fee, uh, what Sweetwater does is we, every time you use the app, we do have a fee that we have to cover to use this particular app, just like PayPal, just like Cash App, things of that nature. So we do have a gift, um, we do have an option here for that you can actually cover the cost. If you don't want Sweetwater to cover the cost, then you can actually cover the cost. So once you put your gift of $200 in, it will display how much it costs to process that fee to send it to Sweetwater's bank account. So you will see that here. So you can say, maybe it may say 47 cent or 37 cent, or maybe it might say a dollar 12 or a dollar 15. You can actually cover that cost. So Sweetwater doesn't have to take that cost and you can cover it yourself um, by simply clicking the box here. What that is going to do is add that cost to your original giving. So if it's $200 that you originally was going to give and the the processing fee was 47 cent. Now you're going to be giving, it's going to display $200 and 47 cent and Sweetwater doesn't have to actually pay for the processing fee. That will be already done by you. If you want Sweetwater to actually cover, cover the cost, you would just simply keep that checked off and you would give your $200 as normal. It also gives you a memo option. So if you would like to write a note to be attached with your giving, you actually have a option to do that as well. So leadership can read. Maybe you want this $200 to go to the food bank or maybe you want this $200 to be done this way or this way or whatever. You can actually put that with the note and it will be read with um, your collection once it is um, submitted. And like I said, you can click the button at the bottom to complete it, give weekly, and that will sign it up and that will start on whatever date that you have selected. Mine is September 18th, my birthday. So you um, you can go ahead and set that up and that will be saved. And anytime that you like to say want to cancel that, you always can go back to your profile, go to your um, recurring gifts or whatever to stop that recurring um, over and over again, you can stop that there. Um, and obviously you can see your gift history, your payment history. If you want to change your payment, uh, your bank account or debit card or whatever, you can change that here as well. Um, but that is the giving, the giving portion. Uh, that is everything you would need to know about the giving. Once again, we do not have PayPal any longer. We, we do have PayPal, but we are encouraging you to go through our new platform that we have here. Now, if you're comfortable with PayPal, you obviously can still give to PayPal. Um, our links will not be displayed on the website or in the app. You will not see those links to actually click on to actually purchase or actually give 
through the PayPal app, but you do, if you do know the church's PayPal account information, the name, you can still give through that. Um, you would just simply put in the name and we will still receive the funds. That way you just will not see that link displayed on our website or on our app. You would have to use it through this app to give. It is going to the same place. Um, so we just encourage you to use this giving app so all the funds can be located here. But like I said, if you are comfortable using the PayPal, you can still use that as well. This just gives you another option. Now our next um, um, tab is our live tab. So our live tab is basically when we are live, whenever time we go live here at Sweetwater Church of Christ, you are able to see it live. You will get that notification if you did sign up in the beginning, if you did click on the notifications in general, our Sweetwater members, you will get that live notification saying, hey, we are live now, click this button to go live. You will be brought here and you can actually click on the watch live button here and that will take you to our YouTube page so that you can view the services live. Uh, from YouTube. Now that is going to take you off the app, but it is going to take you to our YouTube page so that you can actually watch it live. If you um, are watching it on Facebook at the moment and you want to actually watch us from YouTube, this is another way you can actually come on the app, click watch live. It'll take you to the YouTube channel just in case Facebook may be glitching or maybe slow or um, blurry or whatever reason. Um, the best problem, I mean, the best um, viewing experience I had is on YouTube. It seems to be cleaner. Um, so you are able to actually come here and go to our YouTube page by just clicking the go live or the watch live button. So um, you are able to see the YouTube, uh, the streaming there as well. Um, the next icon is the Bible icon as well. So you all have a Bible. We have a reading plan here. You actually have the Bible of all the Bible verses or all the, the whole Bible here. So if you want to actually uh, have your phone um, um, and um, go through the Bible, you can go through anything here. It has everything that you would need here at the Bible. You can actually have it read to you as well. Uh, so if you want to use this, you have a Bible app on the phone as well. We have different reading plans if you want to do that as well um, to keep you encouraged or keep you reading the Bible each and every day. So that is a nice another feature on this app as well. All the different reading plans and you have the entire Bible to actually study as well. All the different um, verses, all the different um, scriptures and um, chapters you do have on the app as well. Um, and the last tab is our events tab. If you do not want to click on this week at the water, you can just simply click on the events that is a little quicker. It will bring you to this particular tab and you're able to see the events that we have going on at the water or the events that are coming up. Same thing applies as this week at the water. You can click on it, get more information about what event that is, what's actually going on in that event. And you can actually sign up for that event by clicking the link here. It will take you to our events page on our website and you can actually put in your information and actually sign up for that event to let us, for that event to let us know that you're coming, that you would like to participate for that event and things of that nature. So we encourage you to click on that as well. And all the events, we don't have many events at the moment, but once events do get populated or once events do get confirmed and added to the calendar, you will see those populate here so that you can actually um, see what's going on here at the water. But that is everything that, um, everything that the app has as of now. Um, if you have anything else that you want to know about the app, anything that I may have not covered or need to go more in detail with, please let us know here in the media ministry. We will put out another video if that needs to be. Um, if you would like something added to the app, if you think we need more of it, more of this or more of that, or I've seen this, this is cool. Definitely tell us about that as well. We would love to continue to add more and more content to make this as user friendly as possible. This is where we're going. This is where a lot of information is gonna go. So we want to make sure that you're um, using it daily. So if you know something else that makes it a little easier, let us know. We'll try to make it accommodate, accommodate it 
for everyone that uses the app. We want you to use this as much as possible. Like I said, the Bible's in it, the events in it. You're going to get notifications from what's going on at Sweetwater. We want this to be our source of information now that this pandemic is going on, things of that nature is going on. We may not be able to reach you by text message because we may not know your number, but we will be able to reach you by the app if you download it and put the notifications on. We are able to stay in contact with you to let you know what's going on here at Sweetwater Church of Christ. So make sure that you uh, watch the video over again. If you may have missed something or maybe um, don't understand it as much, play around with the app, download some things, we'll take some notes, send it to other people. Um, just download it. Make sure you rate the app and things of that nature. Make sure you give us a nice review once you see it. And once again, if you see something new that you want to put on the app or some suggestions, definitely let the media ministry know and we will add that to it. So make sure that you are accommodated and everybody else can benefit from it as well. Um, but thank you for tuning in. Once again, stay safe. Stay blessed and God bless you. In this so sinful world, my time is running out and the devil won't quit. He's trying to blind my eyes.